Hi guys, it's Alte from Ton.com, and today we're going to have another look at the Situ 5 IO RTS. It's from what we looked at before, from a consumer's perspective, but this time I'd like to have a look at it from an installer's perspective. Because I read a comment by Paul, who said that it was actually a good idea that a consumer can't program the motors, and that it's something that should be left to the installer, so that the consumer ends up with just one remote control that works. And that led me to think about the remote control from an installer's perspective and what the benefits are from his point of view. Because as an installer, there's one thing that you really like to avoid. As an installer, that one thing that you would like to avoid is that people start playing around with the remote controls and start creating a mess. Of course, as we all know, if you watch my videos, that could never happen. <laughs> But the reality sometimes is very different from what you see in YouTube videos. Because as an installer, you get, of course, called in when the customer has played around with the remote controls, made a mess, and you are the one to have to sort it out. And that's a no-win situation. Because if you charge for driving up there and spending time to sort it out, it becomes expensive quickly. And the customer becomes unhappy because it's expensive. If you don't charge, you lose money and you lose time. And that's time that could have been spent somewhere else, on another job that does pay. So it's a no-win situation. The Situ 5 IO RTS can bring a change to that, because you can't program with this remote. So people can't use the functions that you don't want them to use. And that prevents a lot of these mistakes from happening. And at the same time, the remote still allows you to do those things that you want them to do. So they keep the benefits, but with a peace of mind that they can't make any mistakes. So what are the things you can still do? First of all, you can still set the My Position. So you can still set your preferred position. Secondly, you can still add additional remotes. So if you have one remote and you want to add another, it's something you can still do. So what are the things you can't do with a Situ 5 IO RTS? First of all, you can't reset the motor. So you can't bring it back to factory settings. That's one thing you can't do anymore. Secondly, you can't change the end limits anymore. If you set these manually with a remote control, you can easily change those. But with the Situ 5 IO RTS, you can't change them. If you've auto-programmed your motor for the end limits, that's a function that's on some roller shutters, then of course that's an option that wasn't available in the first place anyway. So with no remote control is it possible to change the end limits for a motor that has set them automatically. So looking at the remote control from an installer's perspective, it's still a second remote. The first remote is the remote control standard Situ 5 IO RTS that you bring to the job. With that remote, you set the end limits, program the motors, and pair the remote. Then comes the Situ 5 IO RTS that you link as a second remote. The first remote, the one that you program with, is the one you'll just take home with you. The second remote is the one that actually ends up at the customers, because that's the one that he's actually going to use to operate his blinds, shade, or shutters with. That gives the customer the peace of mind that he can still do the things he would like to do, like set a my position or add remote controls, but he can't mess it up. Plus, he still has the benefits of adding those things that he wants to add. So there's no way to accidentally make a mistake, which is also great for those people that always get blamed when something like that goes wrong. The only disadvantage of working this way is that you can't remotely diagnose or check problems anymore. Because you don't have a fully functional remote control in terms of programming, you can't ask the customer to check certain things that you'd like to check. That's the only disadvantage. So if you're an installer, and this is the way you'd like to work to prevent these issues from happening, the Situ 5 IO RTS is the remote for you. It's at the moment still exclusively available only for Amazon, so you can find the link in the description where you can order from Amazon. I hope to have it available in the beginning of next year, so it'll be January, February, and I'll provide an update then for a new video if we have it available and shipping from stock. For now, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can send an email to info at tom.com, and you can also leave uh, a comment that you can leave below the video. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.